Hello folks, I'm Colonel Failure and this is City Skylines. Uh, for the last few episodes here, we've been working up various design ideas in this city. Um, this is what we've built so far. It's it's all coming along quite nicely. We we ebb and flow between 8,000 population and, and 5,000. Uh, death waves are still a thing. Um, I, I guess that's just a just a quirk of the game. But, uh, but for the most part, we're coping with it. Now, uh, this new section that we built last time around, uh, I have retitled Connery uh, for this diamond shape that we've got going on. Um, and as you can see from the demandometer at the bottom, we have uh, very high demand for industry or offices. Now, I'm suspecting, given that uh, Day-Lewis drilling is just about the only uh, industrial aspect we've got so far, that what they're actually talking about is regular industry. So while the sun is out, we'll pause the game here and I'll take you over to where we're going to be working today. So I've built out this uh, second area. I've, I've laid in some infrastructure already. Uh, as you can see, uh, a lot of a lot of faffing around has been required in order to get things to work. I'm not overjoyed with this particular interchange. Um, I'm going to wait and see how it works, and then possibly do it a little better. Uh, the one thing to note is I have installed a couple of new mods, um, as you can probably see down here if you're familiar with it. The No Pillars mod. Um, which makes uh, getting roads to uh, to overlay each other significantly easier. Uh, let's let's move away from this ugly beast. Uh, but before I uh, I built that, I I did this modification of the uh, of the failure's eye, um, which, as you can see, now actually allows people to uh, to go in every conceivable direction. So that's I mean you know it's still a fine looking fine looking piece of kit, uh, but in previous tests it has not panned out well. I've also brought the train line down here a little um, in order to uh, to build this area out as well non-stop industrial. Uh, that's that's what it's going to be. So the first thing I'll do is let's uh, let's get this highway built. Uh, we can get rid of my measuring road. I try and use single track roads. I, I, I'm sure I'm not alone in this. Uh, in order to uh, just get a measurement of uh, of where we're going ahead of time so you know that because they're relatively cheap uh, it's uh, it's a it's a good way of, of just using them as a as a, a kind of guiding line to get from from point A to point B but uh, I'm going to stick a stick a bridge in here and I want to do it subtly I've also put in uh, the uh, the slightly more subtle gradation height tool. I, don't know, I can't remember what it's called. But basically it allows you to use uh, far smaller steps in increasing elevation in roads and rail and, and anything else for that matter. Uh, and I'm hoping that by doing so I'm going to be able to uh, avoid some of the uh, some of the, the game's kind of standard regrading of, uh, of curves, uh, of inclines, uh, to make them look a little better. We'll see how that pans out. What are we doing? How are we above? We're not really high enough above sea level there. Uh, I'm probably going to revisit quite a lot of the bridges that I'm placing uh, once I'm a bit further along, just to ensure that uh, ships can get past without clipping. Now, I mean, the ships in the game, they, they don't really care whether they clip or not, but uh, I certainly do. Uh, you know, it makes a difference to me in terms of, you know, does it look uh, realistic at all? Where are we? Let's uh, snap that to 180. And then because I've done uh, some measurements on here already, in theory these uh, these two bits of highway should remain uh, equidistant from one another. There we go. Right, let's take it as far as there. And of course, because I'm looking at this at a slightly... Uh, slightly skewed angle. Yeah, this looks like it'll be alright. And about there. No. That looks that looks pretty good. Alright, good. Uh, where are these going to go? Don't know. Uh, but uh, it feels to me like there is going to be the need for uh, uh, larger connections, let's say. Um, 
not least of all because this area is going to be industri industrial. Now, if I'm lucky, it will be the, uh, the, the major industrial area for the city. And, uh, and as such, uh, I shouldn't need too many others because, you know, they're, they're big, horrible, polluting things. Now, as usual, I'm going to uh, I'm going to run. Hang on. Uh, why are we not getting... Am I using the wrong road type here? I don't believe I am. Ah, let's turn the overlap off. Let us try that again. I'm probably still wrong. No, there we go. It's because I had overlap. And what overlap allows you to do is overlap onto uh, onto following onto uh, adjoining zones. Again, it's useful for when you're trying to uh, snake roads into a, an area that uh, that normally wouldn't allow them. So, yeah, we're going to go right away around the outside. And then hopefully uh, something relatively geometric in terms of the, the layout of this industrial area can just be formed underneath. We'll see. So we've got this kind of interior area here. And one of the things I'm planning to do is, uh, is get some kind of... Well, we'll start out simplistic, but I'll leave plenty of space so that we can um, uh, have a, a decent train kind of hub built in this area. Um, exactly how that pans out, I haven't yet decided. And I think to start with, given that we're at uh, a relatively low population right now, um, all I'm going to do is is just get it moving. Just, just get some... Uh, can we snake under there? We can snake under there. That'll be good. Okay, I don't have any need for that to, to join up to the, the road there. Uh, I might do later on. It all depends on how traffic flows. So, you know, once again, this this particular playthrough, the, the goal is to uh, to build something that, uh, that actually has some style about it. Uh, rather than uh, rather than building purely for for function, I mean, we'll we'll hit a hundred thousand population without too much hassle, I should have thought. But uh, zoom in here. but the main goal is that we we have something that is appealing to look at. About there, fifteen, fifteen, we think. Yeah, I think fifteen looks all right. Okay, good. Right, I'm going to take that back down to zero. Okay, right. So let's build out some interior now. Um, there are there are various ways that you can uh, you can make the, the the kind of interior roads look. I'm going to use uh, inverted commas here. Authentic, um, and uh, and certainly that's what I'm after. Had the uh, the no collide on there. There we are. Um, uh, yeah, and here as well. <sighs> Clearly thinking things through in advance, right? Uh, but to start with, we're going to we're going to grid this section. So this section will will run in a, a fairly straightforward, fairly standard uh, grid kind of a configuration. Can you get up there without? Just to just to get the ball rolling. Now, I mean, uh, looking at my my uh, city services. Okay, that's not so bad. Uh, I am slightly light on uh, on waste disposal, on garbage kind of retrieval and the incineration thereof. So that's one of the things that I want to plumb into this section relatively quickly. Let's wiggle this one. But the goal, of course, is uh, is eventually to do something a little bit more exciting than just gridding. For gridding, as efficient as it may or may not be, is quite boring. What have you done there? You've managed to pop yourself underneath. There are some oddities with the... Uh, uh, with the, the tools that I'm now employing. They are kind of cool. 
Right, now from here, that's it. So not a perfectly straight line, is it? And of course we've got overlap on, so if we turn overlap off, now you then upgrade this. No. Yes, thank you, tool tips. Treating me like a beginner. I know I may act like it on a regular basis, but uh, I assure you, I do know what I'm doing. All right, let's just take that to there. Let's get the get these roads blocked in, because frankly, laying out roads and and you know, as much as uh, many of you will, you know, testify that no, 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 show me everything. Don't uh, don't skip on my behalf. I'm going to skip on your behalf because laying out roads is pretty boring stuff. Um, so I, I, you know, I'll uh, I'll do much of my road tinkering while you're away. I have in the past. Uh, as, as you know, laid out a, a junction much like the eye here, and then gone, right, good, got that, now I'll record it, and then I've gone to record it, and uh, it's been a disaster, I don't, you know, <laughs> so I've abandoned it. So, so I have taken to the policy of, you know what, major roads that require a lot of faffing around, I shall do on my own time to spare you having to witness it all. Okay, right, now, that's quite boring. I think you'll agree. That is pretty boring stuff. But it is also pretty necessary. Uh, no, no, it's not. Don't don't talk rubbish. Um, no, it's, it is it is part and parcel of, of just getting the thing up and running. Let's take these out. I have a novel idea for those, but I don't think it's going to work. I think we'll, uh, we'll have to improvise something a little bit more. A little bit more daring. Now we'll get under there because I'm I'm uh, I'm using uh, various various methods that allow me to do so. Normally you wouldn't be able to get a road under there like that. I'll run you across here, and I want to take some some spurs, some branches off here just purely to avoid overloading the eye. I mean, the eye should be able to cope reasonably well with, with a fair chunk of traffic, but uh, if at all possible... Uh, let's see, how about if we just swing across there and then up. There we go. And then we could take one off here as well. I don't like that angle. In fact, there's there's not a lot to like about any of these angles. I'll just I'll just swing that off. Okay, right, good. Now I think I've I've packed that about as densely as it is possible to pack, uh, which is fantastic. And then we'll uh, we will run a couple of these off here. Oh, have it going under the under the bridge at the same time for some some dramatic something or other. There we go. Now, hopefully, with three on there, um, note this first one's going to get all the traffic as people try and get on this section. So, let's give them an alternative. If we go across there like that, and then under again, that should attract people towards the second one because traffic is always going to take the route they deem fastest. And fastest has nothing to do with the density of traffic that is currently on that route, that path, however you wish to describe it. Um, so the important thing is to what exactly? The important thing is to give them choices. There we go. That's where I was going with that. Uh, yes, give plenty of choice as far as uh, as far as where things should be headed. And, uh, and you'll be a happier individual as a, res as a result. Right, we also need to get this on the power grid. And I, what I'll do here is I'll run, I'll run power cable in parallel with this bridge. I mean, I think we can, we can probably do it in a way that it doesn't collide with. Let's, uh, let's get it up above sea level. As much as these concrete pillars aren't the most attractive thing in the world. Uh, 
Now we're going to try and match the pillars to the to the train bridge here. Hang on, what, what, what have we got going on here? Oh, it's because it's uh, it's snapping the angle to 180 degrees where possible. Right, let's take it all the way across and then <laughs> see how we need to fix it. No, no, let's back up. Let's, let's just... What would be nice it would be to be able to, to lay electricity underground. Come on. Be gone. Right, let's try that again, shall we? Which this cost me? 2,000. All right, it's, it's worth that to see if it works. I, uh, I've seen better. I have seen better. We're going to... Yeah, welcome to Laying Electrical with Colonel Failure. Right, once more, with feeling. Zoom it right out. There we go. And then we can, then we can at least get a, a reasonable judge by eye of whether that's going to be sensible. And good luck to the ships that want to get under there. Okay, well in the in the spirit of cracking on, I'm going to deal with that one later. Uh, for now, it will suffice. Uh, and then we'll run. Can I get over the top of there? I'm sure I can. There we go. Right, and we'll start from here, and I'll uh, I'll try and try and build a grid from that point onwards. I'll relay these cables when you're uh, when you're elsewhere. Uh, right, next bit of water. Water is always uh, well necessary. Let's take it all the way over there. So this whole area is going to be uh, fully industrialised, which should provide plenty of jobs for those who uh, who have a blue collar. Uh, and then uh, back over in Connery, I've got enough space to add quite a lot more uh, housing. So we should be able to uh, to fulfill the needs of, uh, of this new zone without too much hassle. But to be honest, by the time I've, uh, I've filled in that small grid that I've, I've just done, we should be at the point where we've got residential demand once again. There we go. Right. Is that all services? That's almost all services. Right. So what we'll, we'll what we will start off with is I'm going to put uh, my fire department. And what actually what how, what sort of range do we get off that? That's pretty good. All right. I'll put a fire department here. And the reason for doing so is that because it's right next to that. Uh, Oh, it's almost, almost on the grid. Let's put a let's put a little shopping section here. Now I'll expand this out, so it's uh, so chances are this will this will change quite a bit, but uh, we'll start out with that just to get the uh, get the juice flowing. So let's unpause briefly. There we go. We appear to be juiced up. Feels like we are. I'm not seeing a not seeing an icon to the contrary. Although that said, it doesn't look like it wants to spread far enough to get over the other side of the highway. So that was that was a fruitless exercise. Right, we'll uh, we'll just run it round the side, and then over time we will be able to. Oh, you're a genius! Everything's going going swimmingly. Uh, let's try this again. All right, up, over, right. That will do the trick. I am I am near certain that that will do the trick. Right, nothing subtle to start with. We'll we'll get this built up to begin with, and then uh, later we'll uh, we'll turn it into something that is perhaps a little more effective. But initially, I just want to get the ball rolling. In fact, let's just let's go hog wild with the thing. So this is going to create um, what's the best way to describe it? All the traffic problems you could ever possibly imagine. All right, Let, don't pretend for a moment that it isn't. 
It is. Uh, we need some police out here. We need. Well, we need. Uh, we need all sorts of things. Uh, so let's uh, let's bang in a quick. Uh, I think a headquarters might uh, might serve well for this this entire side of proceedings. I mean, it's expensive, but hopefully we should get bang for buck. And while we're at it, let's. Uh, do we want hospital or should we let's let's not get carried away? Let's put a medical clinic next door to it. So we've got fire coverage already. So if the demandometer is uh, is telling me correctly, we should have no trouble in getting an awful lot of people moving in here. And as if by magic, that's exactly what's happening. Of course, they're all building over there, which means that, you know, they haven't got any power. They all want to they all want to park up right next door to the hospital. There we go. Right, okay, I'm going to leave this running for a bit. Um, uh, we're going to make some progress. Oh, you know, my, my buildings there have, uh, have sunk my budget quite dramatically. So there's going to be a little while yet before I'm, I'm back in a, a positive environment. So this was a, you know, this see this as a, a transitionary episode, this one, uh, where we're, we're trying to get big things happening. Um, but uh, you can't always, you can't always get it straight away. So I'm going to need to tweak some budget up and, and get that moving. Anyway, I'll be back next time. Next time around, what we'll do is uh, let's try and get this train station section built in here. That'll be something that's that's worthy, worthy of tuning in for. Uh, thanks very much for watching today. I've been Colonel Failure. Please leave us a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will be back very soon. Thanks for watching. Cheerio. This, 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 this.